Right now, you're going to watch an important BWB episode that's going to give you basically a q and I'm going to share with you my insights, my thoughts, and everything. I want you to first, though, before you watch the video, I want you to comment below. Let me know what questions, insights that you have as you're watching it. Uh, comment below on the answers to this question that you're about to see. And also, any questions that you have, you want me to answer on future BWB episodes. I'm watching all the specific comments that you have. I'm going to comment, I'm going to read, and go through that as well. Thanks for watching. What if I want to keep my small business small? Is that okay? Keeping your small business small, uh, I think that's, you know, there's a lot of biz colleagues I have, friends. There's nothing wrong with building a lifestyle business in a nutshell. I think if you're doing like, there's a lot of people you can do six figures, a million dollars, and then you basically do like 70, uh, 80 grand a month in lifestyle business where you focus on just building it, you keep it small, that's fine. It, it, as long as it fits your lifestyle, right? It depends on what is the most important to you, what gives you fulfillment. What are your goals? What are you willing to trade in exchange for that success? I think that's a very important question. What are you willing to trade in exchange for that success? I think for me, for example, when I started out, if you know my story, my whole goal was to spoil my parents. It was not to build the biggest building in town. It was not to build like a hundred million to billion dollar company. That's my focus now. But when I started, it was just to support my parents. If I did six figures and I was able to retire my, my mom and my dad, that's great which I've achieved and I'm very fortunate and blessed to have, have been able to do that. But that's my goal then. And as you build your business and as you get older, your, your priorities and your, your goals and your dreams or whatever you want to call it shifts. And so I think that if it's the same for you, if right now you can only see yourself doing 100K a year, 500K a year, a million a year, that's fine. And if you're wanting to keep the business small, that's great. Just make sure that you stay relevant in your industry and with your target audience. One of the things I always talk about is if you've got a thousand, ten thousand target audience, like raving customers and clients that you have that just buy your product or service, depending on the price point, then that's awesome. Just make sure you stay relevant to them in the changing competitive landscape. So, for example, if right now you wanted to start a business in the, a small business, you want to keep it small in the videotape cassette business, you could build a six figure business from it. There are people that still collect these types of items. But if you want to build a hundred million or billion dollar company, I would really question the idea of going for videotapes or cassette tapes. But if let's say you were selling, you were trying to provide cryptocurrency or Bitcoin 25, 30 years ago, and then the timing just doesn't match up, then is the target audience that you're going for, are they really going to be invested in that? Is it something that's growing as people get more familiar with it? So you want to make sure that you, it aligns with your personal goals. Uh, understand that things are going to change, right? Right now, if you want to, build six to seven figure business, you can do it. It's actually very, very simple. The second question is, do you wanna, what are you willing to trade in exchange for that? If you wanna get bigger, if you wanna build a $10 million, $100 million company, like from my experience, I'm on the journey right now, but the people that I've talked to, my colleagues and friends and whatnot, that have built these companies, sold it or retained it, these businesses, I mean, they had to trade a lot, right? They had to work a lot, um, they had to sacrifice the relationships, they had to sacrifice the time. They traded 10, 15 years of their life to do that. And again, that's just if they were able to be successful, right? Because all you're doing here is just increasing the probability of success but decreasing the probability of failure. That's another key principle uh, that I want you to understand too is the probability. So in a nutshell, I think really focus on like what is it that you want right now? Understand it's gonna change five to 10 years from now. Once you focus on developing that, then you can be able to, to, to go further with it. And if you wanna keep your business small and lifestyle business, get married, have kids, spend time with your kids and whatnot, then that's great. You know, focus on doing that. There's no reason that you want to build $10 million, $100 million business unless you're willing to make that trade in your life.